very well. So just do that homework for me, that's all. Uh, in order to understand my homework, I only want to leave this with my Lord. That God himself created us free and equal. And it is not the will of God that those who govern should use the instrument of governance to dehumanize one another. No, that will offend even the laws of nature. Now, once you bring God into a question, our problems are solved. Whatever, <laughs> Lord. Yes. My Lord, I did not want to ask question, but All right. I just want to speak through a microphone. Yes. Now, it's still going on with this uh, page 20. You see, everything you said before, you assumed that the basis of sharing things in this country is on ethnic basis. Is that not correct? You must also that, share. That is not correct. I only came to say to what extent has my tribe been marginalized. Exactly. You see, yes. the way you have put it. If that is the way you understand it, that is a different matter. No, no, no. Well, what I have come here to say is that while others are having so many things, this is what my whole tribe is having. Exactly. If others are not having the same, they have a right to come and complain. If you are saying while others are having so and so, yes. this is what your tribe yes. uh, of ethnic origin had. Yes, that's, that's now, that's, what about the Shekiris? Well, the Shekiris are... How many of these? How many of these posts went to the Shekiris? They can come and complain. Oh, they have, they we can have come to and wait. complain. Yes. Because the, the, my, we, we, my, we, Lord, my Lord invited the periphery for what they want to complain about. So that if I have to hold the view, as we have been holding as, uh, as members of the action group, yes. we have been holding the fort for the minorities in the country. Yes. I would have had something to say about that. Yes. If that is the basis of my coming here, I will have a lot to say. Because we have been the champions of the minorities in this country. Yes. And nobody can, 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 can deny that fact. Now, it's, because we appreciate their problems. It's not just a question of being a champion of minorities. When you champion minorities, you champion them on the basis that they too should have a share. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you see, you are still sharing these things on ethnic basis. Well, I'm, I'm not. Is that really? Do you really think that the basis of our politics should be? Um, uh, that our politics should be based on ethnicity and not on the individual. That's the uh, serious problem which we have to face. I'm sorry if that is the interpretation you give to me, it's unfortunate. But all I'm trying to say is that where a particular group is having so much, mine is having this. If we all sit down at the round table and say, well, how oh, then can we share it inequally? Then the question we are, we come in. Well, all others will come in. I'm to champion because of my alpha, I am affected. I'm I am not saying because I'm affected, others are not affected. That's not my case. Well, I'm sorry. I'm afraid if the purpose of the national conference, which you say yes. is a solution to this, yes. is to see how the tribes can sit together yes. and share things yes. in Nigeria. And raise the of uh, well, you are now saying. <laughs> well, <laughs> on ethnic basis, I'm sorry, uh, we are doomed to failure. No. I believe that what we should start from here, right now, is to begin to think of institutions, building up institutions, which can someday bring Nigeria up to the status where you can move from north to south, east to west. At the conference, and you, you will discuss be, that. And the, you will discuss that at the conference. Uh, well, you will discuss that at the not, conference. Not, not, not that. <laughs> Not you will discuss that at the conference as a superior method see, of moving the country. If you build, if I would we, disagree with you. If we build a conference on ethnicity, it will not achieve anything. That's so all of we the better start making a change. That's all of the things we discuss Thank at the you. conference. Any re-examination? Mr. Chairman, distinguished members of the Commission, my questions really are designed to clarify one or two issues having regard to the terms of reference of this Commission 
particularly in the light of one or two of the questions that members of the panel ha of the commission have asked. Chief Adi Banjo, do you recall, because there was a question make you were easy, asked. Make it easy for you and for us. Yes, sir. Start by saying you were asked so, so, so. Yes, sir. The that's, re -exam. Otherwise, you double into what that's precisely, you were asked. That's precisely what I wanted to do. You were asked a question, uh, Chief Adi Banjo, relating to how is the process, how is the process of sitting down, which you have consistently emphasized to be done? Because clearly the commission requires uh, some thoughts and some contributions on that. The question I want to ask you is, do you recall that there was a meeting in Abuja involving the six zones in Nigeria and that a decision was taken at that meeting? Yes, I do. Yes. Do you also recall that indeed a committee was set up to work out the modalities for the, if you like, for the constitution of that conference? I, I can recollect that. Yes. And that there were representatives from six, the six zones. Yes. Yes. Now, the other question I want to ask you is that what happened to that process? The what happened to that committee? The, co the committee is still working. As a matter of fact, they are, we are working very silently to get the Northeast and the Northwest that were not, that did not take part positively at that conference to be part of it. We want to get them convinced. So indeed, right now, that committee is not able to do that process, to carry on that process, because some representatives have not nominated people. That is true. But we have done some job by the four zones. But we believe it will not be uh, solid enough if we don't find a means of convincing the remaining two zones so that we can move forward together. Now, you are also asked a question relating to within the present regime, within the present regime, and within the pre present structure, and knowing as we do that it is the executive that appointed this commission, you were asked the question, how do you move that whole process forward in terms of you sit down, you will discuss, you will agree. The question you were asked is, how, how do you move that process forward? How do you actually, practically implement whatever processes have been set up? And the question I want to ask you is this, if the various groups ask constituted by whatever committee is set up, after they have met, after they have discussed, is it possible, for instance, to have a situation whereby all the legislative processes presently, all the legisl legislative processes that we have presently, is it possible to have a situation where whatever decisions that they have arrived upon? This is an address, so but I like it. No. It's an address, not a question. Yes, but I'm, I'm trying to ask a question. You've been addressing us for the last time. I'm sorry, my lord. I'm sorry, my lord. I, I just want to direct him clearly to the issue. Is it possible to pass those decisions within the legislative process? Is that possible, in your view? It won't be the concern of the people. It will not be passed to the legislature. It should be referred to a referendum of the people. All right. Finally, the questions you were asked related to, are you a Nigerian? The chairman also asked, and you then answered. And then the point has been made that the question was also put to you that all, is it not the problems of ethnicity that we have? Shouldn't we be thinking more Nigerian? Shouldn't we start off by being, by thinking more as Nigerians rather than starting off from what you have suggested? The question I want to ask you is this. Can there be a true feeling of Nigerianness in the face of injustices? There can, there can never be. And any event, I go further. You can't be an, a, a, an, a, you can't be an island on your own. The whole world today is moving toward ethnicity. The whole world. Why did Russia break? Why did Yugoslavia break? Why did Czechoslovakia break? They didn't break into other countries. They break the autonomy. People are asking for their own autonomy. We are not asking Nigeria to break. We want the ethnic groups to have their own autonomy, their self-government within the Federation of Nigeria. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful.
that's the end of this case so that we can give you an assignment how to write uh, the addresses are going to be tremendous 151 exhibits i saw you for you people to go through 151 exhibits uh, we will do our best man so, well i I'm sure he's comfortable in the witness box. I'm not asking you any question directly. I just like to make my own little contribution that by putting things in perspective, because all this discussion about ethnic representation and so on, I'm happy that MB Wally mentioned my ethnic group, about which nobody has heard. <laughs> um, I got a letter last year about our representation in Central Bank, for example. And uh, that is, I'm talking of my little tribe now. I was told that we, our representation has improved. Um, we used to have, <laughs> now we have one clerk and two cleaners. <laughs> you know, we have one clerk and two cleaners in Central Bank. And I'm very, very proud of that. Um, I'm very proud of that because I hope that if the cleaners work hard, maybe they might control Central Bank. But I think on a much more fundamental issue. Um, I don't want to, to, to be very personal, but we all know that all these discussions about ethnicity and so on and so forth are largely strategic. They are important for what they are, but I think we must also look back at why we got to where we are today. Those of the elderly people are saying to us that it really wasn't like this during their time, and that we young people are the ones who have spoiled this thing. But we also say to them that the reason why they changed the national anthem was because they spoiled, you know, they stained the banner which they were to hand to us. So they decided to change the words of the national anthem. And the chairman has always been very sentimental about that anthem. But because the elders stained the, the banner. They couldn't hand us a banner without stain. But I think it is much more complex. It's much deeper than that. You cannot be in a country like Nigeria producing an average of maybe 10,000 young, intelligent men and women across this country in universities and expect stability. You know, like uh, uh, I think Bakinzu said, when they asked him about student unrest, you know, he said you cannot expect campuses to be very peaceful because students have to wake up in the morning, have breakfast, have their bath, go for lectures, go to the field. So you can't have students, you know, you can't help but have students on rest in the, in the universities. <laughs> but in the, in the same way, I think that the discussion about whether we're going to have a sovereign national conference, the discussions, the issues are very important. And I think, I'm not taking the chairman's position, but I think the point will have to be very, very well made. It was canvassed first by Ohaneze. When, when they say, look, we are just making our case. If you don't agree with us, say so. That has tended to resonate. And I think this is how it really ought to be. Perhaps if we had less lawyers, with due respect, if we had less lawyers, we would really not have been arguing about a lot of these things. Because the purpose of this commission is to let everybody come and cry. And you know, if my own tears are going more than your own, it's not your business. So we, I think it is good that every section has had a chance to converse its views. But let us not deceive ourselves. I have said over and over, sovereign national conference is desirable. It became desirable in 1990 after the collapse of the Berlin Wall. But it didn't bring democracy to, 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 to uh, uh, many of the, of the countries in Africa. Of course, it is an exciting discussion. But there is almost nothing being conversed today that was not conversed before our citizens went to London to come to seek for self-government. These were the same issues. And the issues we're talking about are in the Willing Commission. We should be asking ourselves, how come, after all this while, we really have not gone very far? But in conclusion, I think if we look at what military rule has done to us, and we must not be ashamed of ourselves, it's with no prejudice to soldiers and so on, but if we look at what military rule has done to us in this country, a lot of the ident new identities that emerged in Nigeria emerged because military rule turned us into subjects. And once we were subjects, it denied us citizenship. And unless we go back to become citizens of a country, we will continue as, as subjects. You go back to an ethnic group because there isn't any other form of identity. The city, I mean, in a place like the United States where people are living as citizens, 
It doesn't matter whether you are Irish or whether you are, you, are, you, are, you are Polish or Chinese or whatever. It is the American identity that has overriding responsibility. And that is why the Constitution is the main anchor. In our own case, yeah, that identity has not yet emerged. And we must not be ashamed to say we are going to continue to struggle and struggle and struggle. It is not the fault of Yoruba or Igbo or Hausa or any one person. I think all of us are largely guilty in many respects. And it depends on whether we have the courage to all admit where we have gone wrong so as to find out how best we can bring this country to where we want it to be. It will be a very long journey and difficult one, but I think Nigeria has got the men, the women, and you know, enough uh, soldiers to be able to fight this battle. So it will be, it's been wonderful listening to all these uh, submissions. But as I see from the lawyers, after all this argument, those of us who are not lawyers, don't be deceived because when, you, when they finish here, they're all shaking hands. And, so it's not, as, it's not as bad as it looks. Now, 